continue with our conversation now. On Thursday evening, the Kahuru Contemporary Art from Africa and the Black Collectors of Forum, in support of the DAC, launched one of this season's biggest exhibitions at the UNISA Art Gallery. Now, that's 18 artists from across the African continent and the diaspora taking part in an exhibition called Towards Intersections. Right now, I'm joined by a very famous face. He's a curator, educator, Dembin Kose Kniwe. Uh, he is the curator of the Towards Exhibition, uh, Intersections Exhibition. And with, uh, ne or next to him is uh, Dana Wabira, who is a Zimbabwean artist. We'll have a chat to her in a couple of, uh, a couple of minutes but let's start our conversation uh, with them in Kosi. This is such an interesting exhibition because it actually forms part of a month-long exhibition towards intersection is one part of it. Talk to me about the overall theme and how it plays into the African Month celebration. Uh, the exhibition invited uh, artists from the continent, the diaspora, basically bring their work together to converse on different issues from personal, from political, from historical and my interest was basically to curate exhibition which is conversational where artists who are living on a continent also living in the diaspora to be seen and of course is that month uh, of, 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 of Africa and also with recent events for example such as Africans being attacked and being killed in South Africa and the exhibition was important also to be part of that dialogue and uh, also to bring artists here to converse and also to educate South Africans because it seems to be unfamiliar or not know what, what the continent is. So the exhibition is trying to be part of that. Towards intersections though, that's such an interesting uh, um, theme or title for this exhibition. Break that down for me. Towards intersection is, 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 a, is a concept which is open-ended. It's interested uh, in, in this idea of, of movement, like towards this movement. How do we move at this cross road and how we move beyond that crossroad so because we come from different experiences from different contexts and we are different so for me i'm interested what happened when we meet in this exhibition as different subject as different object as different context so it is that basically it frames a complex and a range of, of, of artworks themes and so forth you know. 18 artists from the African continent and the diaspora. Some of the work has been created. Some of the work was created. Talk to me about curating this very quickly. And, and I know I'm going to talk to Dana in a, in a couple of seconds or so, but what, what, what was unique about the, the artists that you chose? Some of the artists I've met a while ago, some 2003, I met Dana 2013, I met Barry uh, 2003, I met uh, Mary Evans in 2007. So these are people also whose work I'm following. So it is that conversation. And uh, of course, uh, Dana has been coming in and out in South Africa. And uh, when I was doing the Edinburgh Festival, I was interested to showcase her work, which was impossible. But then the opportunity for this exhibition, I thought, wow, the the work she, was, she has was strong enough for me. Kissy Kissy is an installation. So we'll talk about it. And also the suspended animation, the installation. So I was interested in, in bringing that kind of work to South Africa. And uh, like Berry, for example, work is called Painful uh, Portfolio Photographs. So I'm interested in this kind of conversation between these artists. Let me bring Dana into this conversation very quickly. So you've created work. It's now part of Africa Month. It's being celebrated. As, a, as an artist, what does that mean to you? And, and what was the initial idea when you created the work? Very quickly. Okay. Um, I created the work uh, about two years ago. So the idea was um, to explore the intricacies and intimacies of um, relationships with particular regard to women and um, infidelity. Um, so it's a very uh, specific uh, exploration for, I guess, Zimbabwe and the small house phenomenon. But in terms of um, Africa Day, I'm very excited to be part of this exhibition because it allows us to look at the complexities and commonalities um, of Africa and to actually focus on the continent. As an artist, what do you think our dialogue should be framed around right now? As young people, as, as an emerging economy, as what do you think we should be talking from an artist's perspective? Um, I think it's really important to look at the power and the role of art in society and um, how it can per perhaps transform and educate um, either society or the extended, um, extending into the continent. Because if those that want to see it, where can they go very quickly? I know it's at the UNISA uh, Art Gallery. Till when? Until the 22nd of June. Also uh, at Museum Africa, we are opening on the 29th. On the 27th, which is Wednesday, we are opening at the Gordon Institute of Business Science. So it's taking place in three venues. 
as, as I said, uh, UNISA Art Gallery, Museum Africa, and the Gordon Institute of Business Science. Art critic, educator, um, curator, Temi Kosikaniwe, talking to us about the Towards Intersections that's at the UNISA Art Gallery. He was joined, of course, uh, by an uh, artist uh, from Zimbabwe, um, Dana uh, Wabira. And it's an amazing uh, exhibition. It features 18 artists from the African continent and the diaspora. And they're talking about the conversation that is right, uh, that's topical at the moment. We are, of course, celebrating Africa Month. And uh, tomorrow will be Africa Day. A little bit later, at about 11 o'clock, the president is expected here. This is where the inaugural Africa Day celebration. All right, we have come to the end of the program. Thank